What's up folks, EPG here, and I'm sure you're all wondering, uh, where the hell have you been? I thought you said you would be back by now, and, well, uh, so did I, but a lot of things have been going on since I graduated. Um, first of all, moving across state lines and getting all my shit back to where it needs to be was a concern. Um, figuring out what comes next for me career-wise has been something I've had to entangle myself with, uh, and uh, I've been, I've recently made a few investments in the channel that I think will pay, well, at least with some of them, uh, that should pay huge dividends for, you know, foot footage-wise, and in terms of the games I can play, uh, I recently purchased a uh, EVGA GTX 1050 Ti SC graphics card, which has 4 gigabytes of RAM on it, or memory, or whatever. And basically, with this new card, I can run most PC games at 1080p60. And that includes emulators too, like Dolphin. I can run Dolphin at 1080p60 now. And... Yeah, the, the footage you're watching right now is uh, Sonic Generations footage, and yeah, it's it's amazing to take a game that I'm used to see running at 720p30 and seeing it in full HD 60. It is quite the privilege, and yeah, I yeah this this is gonna pay huge dividends in terms of what I can record and. Um, like, uh, I eventually I want to do a Lords of Shadow marathon, where I look at Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Mirror Fate, and Cas the, the, the Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, because uh, I have a lot to say about those games, and the first one is probably one of my favorite games of all time. And now I can do them all on PC, and 1080p60, and it's great. So... Yeah, high quality footage from PC games and emulators, you know, you, and uh, the uh, Nvidia, the Nvidia cards also come with Shadow Play, which provides an exceptionally easy way to record PC games in in high quality and with good compression. Uh, so, and the Nvidia encoder is compatible with OBS too, so I can basically use the graphics card to record stuff at 1080p60 without any loss of quality, which is fantastic so yeah that's so that's that's something that's 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 good uh, something that's not so good was I invested a ton of money in RGB mods for SNES mini and n64 because uh, I like being able to record stuff authentically for reviews if I can and I bought the chips I bought a soldering iron with 60 watts and temperature control. I bought 0.5 millimeter, 0.05 millimeter solder because you need really fine solder to get those little vias. I bought the chips. I bought basically new consoles for this. It was a lot of money, and I had I had graduation money, so it's like, yeah, now is the time. And I sat down to actually solder it, and everything went wrong. So now I have all I have to show for it are two broken consoles, and uh, I was I smell I just reeked of solder. Don't try to install these things yourself, folks. If you want RGB mods for your consoles, just pay Voltar's Mod Shop or Retro Fixes to do it for you. It is not worth trying to buy all the equipment and trying to learn how to put it all together because. Unless if you have really dexterous hand-eye coordination, like the this, the points you have to solder onto are literally like they might as well be microscopic. They're so tiny, and if you don't have good soldering skills, you are not gonna get those things on correctly. And it's kind of like once you fill those vias with solder, you're fucked if it doesn't work the first time. So. Don't, don't bother, just pay someone to do it for you. Um, and so, yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. A uh, friend of mine did actually offer to sell me, he has an N64 RGB modded, and he offered to sell me one of his, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where that goes, but. Yeah, 
So that that's all that stuff has been going on the past few weeks. And in the middle of all of it, I've just been I just really have been procrastinating on this SA2 conclusion video. And the reason for that is and this has kind of been a problem for my channel since uh, the Mario 64, the the uh, or classic Mario Roars, the originals, is I'll say I'll I'll settle on like a marathon or a project I really want to do. Like I really want to review all the Klonoa games, and at the time that's something I really earnestly wanted to do. Uh, but because I go to college in one state and have good acoustics and most of my equipment in another, it would always be that I'd record stuff like months in advance before I'd actually get a chance to sit down and script it and record voiceover for it. And uh, it just really drains all the interest. It just really makes it so much more tedious that way. And like, uh, the uh, Door to Phantom I all... Actually, a good example is the Empire of Dreams footage I used for the uh, for the review of Klonoa Empire of Dreams and for um, Klonoa 2 Dream Champ Tournament. Uh, I recorded those over my spring break. Like, basically, because of college, I basically had to do... had, had to cram all of my video making into my time off from college, which basically meant I had no time to relax. It was like, go straight from really intense college stuff to really intense video making stuff. And I've just had had no very little time over the years to just sit down and relax and enjoy a video game, you know? Or hang out with family and friends and all that stuff. It would, yeah, and it's... And the same thing has kind of happened with this SA2 project. When I really start, when I started out, I was really interested in it, I was really confident in it. Uh, and I, st I do think that, you know, in terms of, from the sort of Let's Play commentary series sort of angle, I think it turned out really well. Like, uh, a lot of people were telling me that they really appreciated seeing someone go into so much depth about treasure hunting stages in that game. And Yeah, and I think that in terms of just being a commentary, it, it turned out well. And I talked about pretty much everything I could possibly have wanted to talk about. So... At this point, making like a conclusion video, then those aspects would just be pointless. Uh, and I feel like if you really care, you probably, uh, you know, about treasure hunting stages and uh, my in-depth thoughts on that, you probably watched those parts, at least some of them. Um, but now, I had to basically take a month off of the project to finish college and move back home and stuff like that. And at this point, I just can't be bothered to sit down and edit a 20 to 30 minute video and part of that is because uh my interest is just gone and i want to move on there are new things i want to do like in my, in my last update video i was talking about how i wanted to do basically a marathon of remake or rebreak episodes on remakes that are you know decisively less than great ones that are more middle of the road to bad, because I don't do enough of those on the show. Um, that's what I really want to work on now, is I, I want to start a new video, I want to start... I want to get rid of this production cycle where I record stuff months in advance and then lose all my interest. I, I want to basically sit down and record, go straight into scripting, go straight into voiceover editing, and straight into video editing. And that way I... I know I want to do this, sit down and just fucking do it, you know? I don't have to, like, wait months while other stuff gets in the way. And now that college is done, and I'll actually have free time, despite, you know, career stuff, uh, hopefully that'll be more feasible now. Uh, but, you know, with... And the other, the other problem with the SA2 project is, like, the more I th sat down and thought about the methods I used and everything, uh, the more I realized that if we really want solid answers to the questions I posed, like, scientific, science-wise, we really would need that dream research design I've talked about so much. Because there are so many asterisks I'd have to put on pretty much everything that 
that point it just ceases to be useful. I feel like uh, qualitatively, and not necessarily quantitatively, I feel like in terms of all the footage I uploaded, I've shown pretty conclusively that hints help. I, I've shown pretty conclusively that it is possible to use only a few hints and still get an A rank and finish the stage fast, uh, relatively fast. I've talked about all the little bits and bobs in each stage, each stage and how much I like this or that. And I feel like just in terms of showing off what a bad run of those stages could look like, even the newbie runs were useful in that sense. Uh, but in terms of providing a solid scientific conclusion, I don't think that the data I have is good enough for that. And if it's not good enough for me, it's not good enough for you guys. I feel like even if I did show off what I do have, people would be just like, well, you didn't do this and that, so therefore it's invalid, which is pretty much what people told me from the beginning. So, yeah. The playthrough will stay up, the commentary episodes will stay up, and because the commentary and all the co-common, uh, all the co-commentators I have on, all that stuff turned out well. It's just, I, I don't feel like editing a 20 to 30 minute video on this. I don't feel like you guys are gonna get anything out of it. Um, and it's not because I, the numbers I found weren't what I wanted. Uh, for the most part, what I found was pretty much what I expected. Uh, I did find a pretty, you know, like when you compare the, uh, newbie distribution to the full hint distribution. I did find using an independent samples t-test assuming unequal variance, uh, I did find a high significance. Those two distributions are highly significantly different. We can say with at least 99% certainty that hints reduce the amount of time. Uh, but again, it's speculative data, so I can't really say that for certain. Um, so it's like, what's what's the point? So, yeah. The SA2 project, there will be no conclusion. Uh, all the episodes are available for you to watch. Uh, if you really... If all my in-depth opinions are there. I feel like I've said all that needs to be said on that front, and that I'd just be... You know, if, if you really cared about what I thought, if it really made a difference for you, I would have made that happen by now through the commentary episodes. So, yeah. So what comes next? Uh, Super Mario Sunshine comes next. I'm going to be putting my all into finishing up the script I do have and getting that to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, because I'm sick of... I, I just want to get back to reviews now. Uh, and I feel like you guys are owed a new episode. I promised it to you guys months ago at this point. And I really want to get in the habit of uh, having more regular uploads, but uh, it, it's all going to depend on what what else is going on in my life. And I'm sorry about that. I, I can never make videos of the quality that I want them to be and upload on a weekly basis. That's just not feasible. Uh, it takes time to make 30 to 60 minute videos, folks. And why make them that long? Well, I need to be satisfied with what I put out, because there's nothing worse than making a video only to realize that you didn't talk about something, and yeah. And I just prefer to be on the thorough side, and I don't know, I guess long-form reviewers are becoming more popular nowadays, so, yeah. So next will come the Super Mario Sunshine review. I'm gonna get straight to work on that. I promise you, no procrastinating. Uh, and then, after that, we're gonna head into that uh, Remake or Rebreak Marathon on games with remakes that are decisively not so great. Uh, and I'm thinking Pac-Man World on the PS1 and GBA is a good candidate. Uh, Mega Man and Base is a good candidate. Uh, there was another game I was thinking about that has escaped my memory at this point, but yeah, games like that, and uh, yeah, I guess that's that's what's happening next. Like people have given me so many requests for stuff over the years, and just kind of like to move on and start a fresh project. Super Mario Sunshine isn't exactly a fresh project, but you know, it's I I I feel like. 
spending time editing that after months of, of since recording the footage will be more productive and worth my time than trying to scrape together a conclusion video that no one will take seriously. So that's what's happening. I'm sorry if you're disappointed and you were looking forward to that conclusion video, but it's just not going to happen. I, I don't have it in me. Um, so, yeah. So I've been... This has been XEO, and I will see you guys for the Super Mario Sunshine review. review. That will be the next video, I promise. So, yeah, until then, uh, see you later. <laughs>